Welcome back, YouTubers. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Today, let me introduce you to my granddaughter. Her name is Leanne, and um, we take care of her. We have custody. We have custody over her for, for about four years. And um, she's the only girl in her family. She's got two brothers, one older than her and uh, one younger than her. Okay. She loves Jesus, and she wants everybody to know that she loves Jesus. Tell them, baby, you love Jesus. I love Jesus and I want him to come back. And he is coming back. Okay? All right, let me finish my video and let me share with everybody. And that was my granddaughter. Okay? Now, um, what we need is we need this video to be shared as much as we can. And we need this, the information to get out to everybody, to all the Christians. There's some laws that have been passed some years back. The Jews are behind getting these laws passed. You know, they think that they uh, uh, are doing right because in the commandments of God, you're not supposed to do idolatry. And the way God put it was that you shall not have any other gods before him. And that you would not have any images or statues or praying to any other entity other than God the Father. That is what the commandments say. So to the Jews, they stick to that. So Jesus comes in and the Christians pray to Jesus. But Jesus really said for us to pray to the Father. But, but the Christians are praying to Jesus. Okay? Okay. So the Jews had... This is spreading like a fire. That they're going to... Um, they pass the laws. And when the time comes here shortly... When the, when the Messiah, the false Messiah shows up, which will be really short, then they're going to enforce this law. You know those machines that chop your head off that they used to use in the ancient times? Well, do you know that Obama ordered like 3,000 of them or 300,000 or however many it was? They have them. They have them. They already have them under the Obama administration. And they're going to use them to chop the heads off the Christians that believe in Jesus Christ. Those laws are the Noahide laws. There are already laws in the... These are already law in America. They're just not enforcing it yet. But this is why Christ says, and many shall die because they believe in him, because they believe in Jesus. And this is coming up. This is coming up real shortly. You know, we may have to run. We may have to run. You know, they're trying to the Pope is trying to make a one world religion. And do you know why he's, he made a pact with the Muslims? Because the Muslims do not believe in Jesus. That's why. And all these other religions that do not believe in Jesus, they're signing these pacts. Now the Jews, they think they're doing good, but they're really not. You know, but they think they are. They think they're doing God's work, but they're really not. 
but I think that as long as we have Christians, that we need to pray. And as long as that we pray, we stick together and pray for God to intervene, for God the Father to intervene, that he will come. And this is where Jesus says, those that wish to save their lives will lose it. And those that lose their lives shall save it. Because if you stand up and we say, the only regret in life I have is that I only had one life to give for my Lord Jesus Christ, for my Lord God the Father. If I had a chance to do it again, I would do it. And then if, they, if it gets to that point where I have to face life or death, then I choose God. That's what I choose. If, it's, if people are trying to make me think wrong, do wrong, then I choose God. That's the right answer. So we that believe, let's get down on our knees and pray. Pray at this moment because that is about to start to happen. And, and these people, these Jewish people, these countries, these evil ones, they're going to enforce these laws. In the law, all it says, and thou shalt not commit adultery. But it's the interpretation that they're going to use, that they're going to want to use against Christians and chop their head off. It may sound mean, but it is already signed into law by the United States. So soon it will be enforced. And I pray that everybody get on their knees and pray to God the Father to intervene, that it not happen to us. Shalom.